So I will uh, introduce a shared task we are organizing for BioNNP called uh, Pharmaconair. So the title I think already reveals what the task will be about. So it's about recognition of uh, pharmacological substances, compounds and uh, genes and proteins. In the case of our task, we will focus on a data which is non-English. It's a Spanish clinical case studies. So I will try to provide some context why we are actually organizing this shared task and uh, why we are organi organizing it uh, for data which is not in English. So our task is uh, organized or uh, is promoted by the Spanish uh, strategic plan for advancement, uh, advancement of language technologies. So this plan tries to promote uh, the uh, amount, quality and availability of resources for Spanish and co-official languages in Spain. Um, so as part of this um, national plan, there's a, a flagship project in, in biomedicine and health. And um, during the um, plan, we try to have also projects and collaborations directly with hospitals, with the uh, National uh, Health Library in Spain and the uh, um, some other agencies related to, um, to, to health. Um, we are also trying to generate uh, a gold standard data sets and corpora as part of the uh, Spanish strategic plan. We are providing also terminological resources, basic components for Spanish clinical texts, texts and we are also trying to promote um, uptake and development of resources through shared tasks. So we, ha we have been organizing two shared tasks related to recognition resolution of abbreviations of Spanish uh, medical in Spanish medical texts. We are also organizing one task on de-identification in Spanish and we are trying to organize also a shared task related to the recognition of um, drugs and uh, chemical compounds in texts. And George already mentioned uh, a task we are trying to uh, do related to indexing of Spanish med medical literature with uh, DEX, sort of mesh terms in Spanish. So this is an example of one of these corporate resources we were uh, generating for abbreviations. And actually we are using or reusing this, uh, the same corpus, the same documents for the shared tasks uh, related to recognition of chemical compounds and drugs. So the corpus will be also annotated, for instance, with linguistic information, tokens, part of speech tagging, or uh, abbreviations. So uh, coming back to our shared task. So um, basically the idea is to uh, recognize uh, drugs, chemical compounds and proteins in Spanish clinical case studies. So how did we, uh, why did we do this uh, particular task? So Dean already mentioned the importance of recognizing drugs um, also for downstream text mining tasks related to drug safety, drug drug interactions and so on. Um, dosage. So the recognition of chemical entities and drugs is a first uh, very important building block task. Uh, most of the shared tasks have been focusing on uh, data in English, but there is a considerable community which is um, Spanish native speaking and there's also a big community of healthcare professionals which are native in Spanish. And, and these are also publishing data or doc, uh, uh, articles in, in other languages, mainly in Spanish. Um, the difference between um, like English or Spanish is that for English you have like the PubMed as a, the central or uh, centralized resource for uh, publications. In case of Spanish, the scenario is a little scattered. So there are some articles covered by a PubMed, but there are also other resources or databases like Cielo, Ebex, Medis, Guiden and others uh, containing literature in Spanish. So how did we generate our uh, data set? We were actually uh, focusing on a collection of clinical case studies. It's a so, sort of specialized medical article. And within these clinical case studies, we were only focusing on the section uh, related to the clinical case itself. So these uh, clinical case sections were basically pre-processed. We had to do some removal of uh, figure captions. Um, we had to deal with some issues uh, related to encoding. And, and not all clinical case uh, studies are actually representative or useful for, for a shared task. So we had to do a manual uh, classification of those clinical case studies 
which resembled a little uh, more the, the structure and the content of uh, um, clinical narratives. So we ended up with a corpus of 1,000 clinical case studies, and um, which uh, basically had a total of around uh, 400,000 uh, words. They are a little longer than, um, for instance, PubMed abstracts on average. And they cover a, a range of different medical disciplines. So um, um, coming back to the uh, description of the corpus, we had a total of um, a rough, almost 7,000 manually annotated entity dimensions in our uh, corpus. And they were actually structured into different classes. So we tried to actually normalize dimensions of these entities to uh, control vocabulary, in this case, NOMAD. Uh, for some of the cases, we were not able to actually normalize them manually. So there were uh, some of the, the entity dimensions uh, which were non, not normalizable uh, to uh, SNOMED. We were also annotating proteins. So many of these clinical cases have proteins which are more like biomarkers or um, genes which are uh, studied in terms of uh, biochemical assays, for instance. And we also had some additional annotations which we are not going to use for the shared task, but which were important for the, the end use of our corpus. Um, so here you can see an example case uh, of, of uh, Pharmaconia corpus uh, annotated by these uh, different types of mentions. And um, for doing the ma manual annotation, we actually had to prepare uh, guidelines. These guidelines relied on, on guidelines we prepared previously for English for the uh, Kempner shared task. So the Kempner shared task was uh, related to recognition of chemicals and drugs in PubMed abstracts. And we had quite some interest in the task with uh, 27 particip uh, participants back in Biocreative 4. But we had to adapt these guidelines. So there were some differences um, um, in terms of the uh, type of entities and the type of annotations which were relevant for clinicians, which were different from what you had in, in, in PubMed abstracts. And we had to translate these guidelines also into Spanish. So Lonette already mentioned this iterative refinement of guidelines uh, until, uh, and annotation until you, re you, read, uh, you reach some consistent uh, gold standard corpus. So we obviously had this as well, so this iterative refinement until we reached a uh, um, reasonable uh, consensus. Um, so the entities were uh, normalized, as I said, to SNOMED CT. Uh, we had uh, kind of... Um, pipeline on, on annotation, which went beyond a single mention labeling. So we had the first a quick mention labeling with one tool, which was very efficient. Then we exported them. We did some quality control and post-processing. We uploaded them to BRAT, and then they were revised again. And then the final corpus was uh, revised by a senior annotator to make sure that we didn't miss anything. So here you can see, again, an overview on, 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 a snip, on an example case the actual mentions annotated there and how they were uh, normalized to SNOMED CT. So for us, it was quite surprising that we could really normalize almost all the, of the entities to SNOMED. So the coverage was, was a lot better than, than we expected. Um, in terms of the subtracts, we will have two. One which is a classical uh, mention recognition where the participants have to find the offsets of the uh, uh, chemical entity dimensions. And the other subtask will be related to uh, indexing. So basically indexing the clinical case studies with SNOMED CT terms. And the primary evaluation measure will be precision recall and, and um, balanced F-score. So um, to finish, so what is the current state? We already have the annotated corpus. Um, we will try to refactor the corpus also in other formats, not only in BRAT. Um, we all actually also have uh, several other resources which we try to distribute with the corpus. So for English, you have a lot of different uh, domain-specific uh, resources. So we also try to have some of these for Spanish, uh, the to uh, some tokenizers, sentence splitters, lemmatizer, part of speech taggers, a dictionary for uh, chemicals and drugs. We will also release a pre-trained uh, um, um, deep learning model for finding uh, chemicals in, in this uh, Spanish corpus 
And uh, we actually will also uh, provide some HPC resources for those participants which want to explore supercomputing and, and HPC to train their models for this uh, shared task. So I think that's basically it. So thanks a lot.